Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. Now I have used several different email apps over the years, but for the past couple years, I've been really loyal to Airmail. It works really well and has a lot of great features that I use all the time, but it also has a lot of really cool features that honestly, I hadn't really been taking advantage of. In the process of preparing for this video, I have discovered all of those features and actually started using them. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the various features of Airmail and how I personally use it. And by the way, if you're curious about how this app hooks in with my overall personal organization and productivity system, I will link the video that I made about that over here so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But enough chit chat, let's go. First of all, let's talk about the basics. Airmail will sync across all your devices, and I personally use it most frequently on my phone and my iPad, as well as occasionally my Mac Mini. Apparently, you can also set up important email notifications on your Apple Watch. However, I have this feature turned off because I don't want my wrist buzzing constantly. Um, although I could set notification hours, so like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but I didn't want this feature, so I have it turned off. You can also add as many email addresses as you'd like into Airmail. And this is good news for me because even not counting my two work emails, I have five email accounts hooked into Airmail. Yikes. And as is common with some other email apps, you can see a unified inbox where all of your different email addresses just kind of dump into one pile for you to sort through. The cool thing though is that you can set custom colors for each email so you can know just by looking at it what address it's coming from. Additionally, when you're sending an email, you can decide which email address it's sent from. Airmail will also check with you to make sure that that email is sending from the address you mean for it to. And you can set different email signatures for each address. I have traditionally just looked at the unified inbox, but have recently switched to looking more at the individual email inboxes because for some reason that makes it seem easier for me to tackle all of that incoming mail. Airmail also has a smart inbox feature, which will filter out ads and newsletters and leave you with only the really important stuff that you should actually be looking at. Now here are some cool features in Airmail that I use a lot. There's a to-do tag where you can flag things you need to come back and handle later. This has its own filter too, so later you can just jump straight to those items that really need your attention. Then once you've handled that thing, you can mark it as done. You can also set this to automatically archive these emails, so once something is complete, you get the satisfaction of wiping it from your inbox. As you can imagine, I'm a big fan of this. There's also this cool snooze feature, where you can basically tell an email to stop bothering you right now and come back later. You can also choose when later is. So for example, you could have your flight confirmation email show up in your inbox the morning of your flight. Another thing I end up using a lot is the unsubscribe button. This handy feature finds the sometimes tiny and really well hidden unsubscribe button and puts it right up top, which lets you take yourself off those mailing lists super easily. And if that doesn't work, you can also choose to bounce the email. It ends up looking like your email address is not functional, which is sometimes enough to get you removed from really persistent mailing lists. And as always, you can mark emails as spam. I'm sure other email apps also have this capability, but I'm a really big fan of the send later feature. I mainly use this when I'm drafting emails on the treadmill or stationary bike at the gym, and I don't wanna actually send those emails at 6 a.m. I can just set those emails to send during business hours and thus avoid conversations about my work habits. Another feature that's really helped me, especially during tedious processes like applying to internships or jobs, is the ability to create email templates. In addition to the send later capability that I just talked about, you can create a couple templates, customize them to the person who will be receiving them, and then schedule an initial and follow-up email, which is super helpful. Another great feature I use a surprising amount is the remind me one. So you get an alert if no one has responded to your email by a specified time. This has been really helpful in making sure that I follow up on things that I'm waiting on someone else for. I genuinely wish my work email through Outlook had this feature because instead I have to keep a really exhaustive list of everything that I'm waiting on other people for. For those of us who want to ensure our privacy, there's also a really good privacy mode in Airmail. In this mode, all data will be processed locally on your device, and it also blocks tracking pixels, which companies use to check whether you've opened the email they sent you or to just gather other information about you. And if you really wanna make sure that you're the only one who can access your email, you can also add Face ID or Touch ID to make sure you have total privacy. 
One thing I've just kind of started getting into with Airmail are custom swipe actions, which let me get through my inbox so much faster. For example, if I swipe to the left on this email, that email will archive. And if I swipe a little further to the left, it'll bring up the full list of actions I could do with that email. If instead I swipe it a bit to the right, I can move it to a folder. And if I swipe all the way to the right, I can apply a label to it that I could search for again later. These also get more intricate if you prefer. You can set a sequence of custom actions in a cool shortcut. So you could apply a label to an email, forward it to your manager or your spouse or whoever, and then file it in a specific folder, all with one gesture. Oh, and another cool thing here. No matter which inbox an email comes into, I can sort it into the folder that I want. I don't know, this may be a common feature, but it makes me really happy. Also, if you have an iPad, rest assured AirMail does just fine with split screen. You can drag and drop files and text into an email, and AirMail also organizes attachments nicely, which is one of those small things that is super important to me. Oh, and you can sketch directly in an email message without needing to import it from another app. That's not a functionality I've had a use for, but just in case someone's looking for that. Speaking of other apps, let's talk briefly about AirMail and its integration with other common productivity apps. This Send To feature will allow me to easily send an email to Fantastical, which is the app I use as my digital calendar. And right here is the option to send an email to the Apple Reminders app. The resulting reminder will feature a link to the email itself, though it does have the annoying habit of making that reminder task due at the exact minute that email came in. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an easy way to link AirMail with Notion, which is what I use for all my task management currently. Uh, I'll link my Notion video here if you want to see it. But maybe this is something that will be solved with APIs. I haven't really played around with it that much, so I don't know, but maybe that's how this will get resolved. If anyone has figured out how to do this, by the way, please let me know, because I'm looking for a way to send an email to a Notion board so that it shows up as a task. So if you know how to do that, please drop a comment. So those are all the features of AirMail, and this is how I use it. Everything that comes into each one of my inboxes is something that I call a particle. It's something that I'm gonna have to do something with. Whether it's a newsletter that I just have to read and trash eventually, or an event reminder that needs to go onto my calendar, or a reminder of something that I have to do which is gonna go on my task list. All these things and more come in through my various email addresses and then go on to other parts of my personal organization system. And again, link will be over here in the description if you're curious about what I'm talking about. So that's AirMail in a nutshell. Email does seem to be a necessary evil at this point in our lives, and I think this app does a really good job at making it more manageable, at least for me. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about AirMail that I didn't answer in this video, or if you know how to integrate AirMail and Notion. Please let me know. As always, please like if you liked this video, subscribe if you loved it and want to see more like it, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.